Good morning, welcome to Harry's House. We're here to talk about Harry's trebles this week and this weekend in the Premier League. If you want the latest odds, just check on betsafe.com and you can find out all about it. Have a look, it makes sense. Now, let's talk to Harry. What are the trebles you're going for this week, mate? Well, I've gone for pick, pick the couple of games out. Pick not easy games. I've, I've gone with uh, Sunderland to beat Southampton. It's a dangerous game. I mean, Sunderland, mm -hmm. chipping Sunderland to beat anybody is not easy. And before last week's win at Crystal Palace, I wouldn't have tipped them to beat anybody. But on the back of that result, perhaps they'll come back home, perhaps a bit more confident this week. Perhaps the crowd will start getting behind them and believing in them a little bit. You know, I think the crowd will start to lose. Obviously, they've been fantastic. The Sunderland fans keep turning up, but they've seen some bad performances this year. But Jermaine's put them in the back Jermaine's of the net. Jermaine's starting, yeah, he's scoring at the moment. They had a good point last week at home to Tottenham, nil-nil. That was a good point from them. Then going to Palace and winning four was the result of the weekend, incredible result. So, so I've stuck with them. I've gone with them this week. And uh, Southampton are not in the best of form. Got to a cup final. Looking, look, probably got one eye on that. But uh, at the moment, Southampton... No, their, their form has, has dipped again, mm. so I'll take a gamble. It's a game that Sunderland need to win the weekend. It's a, it's one of those fixtures that they need to pick up three points. So I've stuck them in, you know, but it's, uh, it's going to be a tight one. I've gone with uh, Man City at, uh, at Bournemouth. Again, uh, I'd like to see Bournemouth win, you know, mm. Bournemouth, um, they need, need a win. It's just to get them out of that, they're just on the, you know, they're, they're 26 points, I don't see them Certainly don't see him getting relegated, but the quicker they get themselves to safety, the better. Yeah, you think but this Man isn't City, the win, don't you? Yeah, but Man City, you know, no disrespects, there's a big gap between the quality of the two teams. And quite, you know, you look up Man City about to spend, and and at the moment they look like they they're dangerous. I watched the, the, the West Ham game the week before and absolutely murdered West Ham at Upton Park at, uh, the, at the London Stadium, yeah. whatever it's called now. I still keep calling it Upton <laughs> Home. Park. Home, <laughs> yeah. So um, I, I was certainly I'd have to fancy uh, fancy Man City and with City as well. I mean, Jesus loves you. This yeah. this, this new signing. I mean, I he, lo know. he looks it's something else. Bad, he? He? Yeah, yeah. It's amazing when you leave Aguero at your team. Mm. It's uh, that is that is something else, isn't it? To uh, to be able to afford to leave him out is it shows you the quality they've got there. And I've gone with with Stoke at home. Stoke always a difficult place to go to beat Palace. You know, Palace um, saw Palace the week before last as well as at Bournemouth, and they played ever so well. Sam played with three at the back. They look big and strong. I would think he'll go the same way at Stoke. That he'll pick the three big centre central defenders and look to make yeah. sure they're difficult to beat and I'm sure he'll, he'll be happy to come away from there with a point if he can. But I think Stoke at home, difficult, still a difficult place to go. Not as difficult it was as it was under Tony Pulis. Those were, the, for me, those were the, the toughest days when you went to Stoke because those were the days of Rory de Lapp, you know, yeah. and the ball was being thrown Big throw. Every <laughs> from, you know, 50, 60 times a game, the ball's been thrown into your box and you had to just keep digging, and it was worse than a corner. So I mean, eventually they were going to crack, you were going to crack, and they're going to get a goal off it, you know. It was a nightmare, nightmare games. Hated going there, probably the yeah. most done. You know, the game you least look forward to all season as a manager, probably and the players. But now they do play more, you know, they obviously have changed their, their style. They've got no Rory Delap anymore, but, um, and so. You've got uh, Sido now. Is yeah. It, is he ever yeah. going to, I mean, at some point, Sido Berahino. He's going to come on and do what he's been brought in to oh, do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then Crouch is still playing, scoring yeah. goals. Um, so, yeah, I, I just think that, you know, it's, it's a big game for Stoke on the back of a defeat last week at West Brom, which they wouldn't have enjoyed. Tony looked like there was no love lost between Tony no. and Mark Hughes, <laughs> a couple of Welshmen. Um, but now yeah, I think Stoke might just do Palace this week. And if there's one other um, outside game, you've got to be looking at Liverpool. Against Tottenham. Liverpool, Tottenham, yeah. I mean, that's, that should be a cracking game. Tottenham need a win. Nothing less will do. And Liverpool need a result. I mean, they can't afford to get beat at home again. If they lose at home again this week, mm. I mean, that is uh, it's not good. It's not good. That would be... Uh, they've had a horrendous run since the turn of the year. So, Klopp needs a result, really, I think. You know, it's... Uh, you know, all the hype and every, we all like him, he's a big personality, mm. but uh, 
if it keeps getting beat, no, well, you know, that, that love soon runs out with people, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah. yeah they, Liverpool need to pick up something this week. I think it'll be a tight game. I could see a draw. Last time I asked you to predict one, yeah. Tottenham game, you got it spot on, didn't you? You said a score draw. I think was it was it against City? Yeah. Uh, spot on. So you're in a draw again? I've got another draw. I fancy the draw. I think uh, Liverpool, I don't think anyone would be happy with a draw. I think probably Liverpool more happier than Tottenham even because Tottenham need a win. Normally you say if Tottenham get a point at Liverpool, you'd be delighted. Yeah. But at the moment in their situation, they want to win the league. Obviously, if they can still, they've still got an outside chance. They're going to be looking for three points. So, but I don't think they'll get I think it'll be a, a draw. You've heard Harry's treble. What will yours be this weekend? For all the latest odds, check out betsafe.com. And remember, you've got to be in it to win it. <laughs>